Hey photographers, welcome to Digital Photography, brought to you by Global Online Academy. My name is Rick White, and I teach at Jakarta International School in Indonesia. So let's go over the course real quick. Basically, the course is cut into two parts. The first half is concepts in photography and digital editing. You'll be given weekly assignments that mostly uh, deal with concepts in photography, such as ISO, and shutter speed, aperture, um, composition, and you'll be learning a lot about uh, some digital editing techniques, how to adjust the histogram, uh, levels, and how to read a histogram, what it means, things like that that every photographer should know, uh, but some things are a little often overlooked. Uh, second half is globally themed assignments where I give you a phrase or a term and uh, you have to interpret that term through uh, your photography which should be pretty cool because we've got students from all around the world. What do you need to have? You need to have, uh, well I highly recommend that you have a DSLR camera and if you don't know what that is it's just a big camera that you can adjust everything on it. Your lenses, your focal length, your aperture, shutter speed, your ISO, your white balance, everything. And it's digital, not some old thing that, fil that has film in it. Um, I have a Nikon D80 although pretty soon I'll be updating to the D600. Uh, you might want to look that up if you're looking to buy one. should be released in September, October. Uh, point and shoot camera with some adjustments are definitely allowed. Uh, again, I encourage the SLR camera, but uh, point and shoot's fine as long as you see that little girl with the hat on the top of her head. Uh, that's, that's for portrait settings that reduces the aperture. Um, things like that where you can actually play with uh, I am allowed, I will allow iPhones and other cameras, uh, but I really, really strongly discourage you from using them. You're not going to get a ton out of this course, technically speaking, if you use one. However, um, like I said, the best camera, or like I, someone said once, the best camera is the one you have in your pocket, and you might be in a situation in which your iPhone or phone, camera phone uh, we'll be taking some pretty amazing photographs just because of an opportunity that's arisen. Uh, so that's acceptable. Uh, so where are things happening? Well, right from the start, you're going to be starting your own WordPress blog, and this is where you'll be submitting all of your photographs. Um, and basically, your, your photographer, the first week of class, the entire world will be seeing uh, your photographs. This is where you'll have your photos, your photo journal, uh, critiques and comments. So every photo will be accompanied with uh, description basically. There's a couple criteria that I have. You'll also be required to critique someone else's work uh, in the context of the WordPress blog and then you'll also be uh, commenting just like you would on on Facebook. Uh, Haiku is our learning management system. You're probably viewing this in Haiku right now and this is where discussions, questions, and grades happen. So you can see that the, pretty much all the photography, photo, submit sort of things happen on the WordPress and then there's a couple times we'll be having some discussions and uh, questions and stuff and those will happen in Haiku. Okay, the weekly assignment. Um, basically your grade will be broken down into these, these six parts. Uh, photos, photo journal, critiques, questions, discussions, and comments. Those are the only six things I'll be grading you on. Six points for photos per week, four points for a photo journal, four points for the critiques, uh, one point for the questions, two points for the discussions, and one point for submitting comments to a variety of fellow photographers. So you can see here how important it is to keep a, a reflective and nice photo journal because they're weighted almost as much as photos and also the same for critiques those are uh, together photo journal and critiques are worth more than the photo itself and uh, the reason for that is um, you can learn a lot through photography by just reflecting on other photos and that's sort of the purpose there the blog you'll be submitting one two or three photos per week uh, your photo journal and your photo story basic which is basically your photo story um, happens on your blog and critiques and comments also happen in the blog, but you're expected to do one formal critique once a week for one of your classmates. So I'll be assigning you one classmate 
and you'll do a formal critique of that individual's photos, ideally using terms and ideas and things like that that we had learned through the course thus far. Uh, comments are more informal, a couple sentences, and I'm expecting you to uh, do two or three a week. Uh, those are a little, like I said, informal, Some, something like you know what you'd see on Facebook, but maybe just a compliment about what something that they did or, or maybe a small suggestion on you know how to crop it better or something something small discussions and questions again those happen in haiku uh, discussions are a little bit more involved I'll present a uh, a topic that's sort of controversial in the field of photography and we'll have some debates about them or at least uh, some discussion on it um, this could either be a full group discussion or I'll break you up into pairs or even groups of three um, to have the have the discussion and then there's questions, and this, these questions are just sort of like small quizzes that just sort of um, check your understanding for some of the readings that I've given you uh, and just to see if you understand certain things like histograms and aperture and stuff like that. And then there's these just for fun things. Um, this won't happen every week, but there's the, the course is just too short for everything. Uh, I might throw in a few things that... Uh, are cool and I know you guys are all you know want to be good photographers and stuff so there's just some things I might throw at you and if you want to do it that's great if not uh, uh, no big deal okay so Pixlr of Photoshop this is this is going to be a big issue I'm not sure exactly uh, what everybody has yet but if you do not have Photoshop uh, you can use Pixlr which is a online Photoshop it's uh, it's based on Photoshop it's got the same functionality However, it has, it has less, uh, obviously, than Photoshop has. Uh, but most of the stuff it can probably do for you that Photoshop could do. Well, at least that what you would want to do. Uh, you're expected to use Pixlr or Photoshop for your editing. Um, you're allowed to use iPhoto and stuff like that for certain assignments, but it won't work for all of them. So uh, just keep that in mind. Overwhelmed yet? Hope not. Let's talk about some organization real quick. So the course is split up into two units, basic photography and globally themed, like I said before. Um, the basic photography, we'll talk about composition, exposure and light, aperture, shutter speed and ISO, uh, self-portrait. These are the weeks. This is week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. Uh, and then the basically the quarter assignment or the halfway through assignment will be an ad campaign and granted I think I might be changing that one because uh, it depends on your interests and also what uh, if everyone has Photoshop I think this would be a great assignment Pixlr would not work very well with this so uh, we might be changing that and you guys can have some influence on that uh, halfway through assignment um, based on what you guys like I'm willing to change that the second one Urban Decay will be our first one. People, so that will be split up in actually uh, two submissions that week, but uh, photographing people, which I'm sure you will have been photographing already, but this one ideally is to get you out and maybe take some risk and push some limits on who and where you're photographing. Uh, nature, we love our nature shots. Those are the things that sort of stay still for us, landscapes and uh, trees, sunsets, things like that. Uh, faith. That can be interpreted any which way you want. Uh, faith as in religion or faith as in like falling or something. Uh, but that's up to you. Politics. Uh, this will be most, a lot of the students are in the U.S. I try, I'm, I'm going to try and center this one around uh, the U.S. election. So you can go out and take some photographs of, you know, the people holding signs or the people at uh, voting booths and stuff like that. Should be a cool photo opportunity. Those of you who are abroad like I am, uh, we'll have to find something else but uh, there's plenty out there. And then the last two weeks, sort of the summit of assignment for the course is to be a photojournalist. And you're going to have to pick a story, uh, something that you think deserves to be told. You'll photograph uh, people involved or places, and uh, you'll write a small article um, about that. Typical week, uh, you'll see an intro video, something similar to this, that will prompt you. Uh, and then I'll almost always the goal is to always have uh, a photograph or a video or something that uh, changed the world of photography or at least uh, was something historical 
uh, or actually just really, really cool and I wanted to share with you. Uh, that's just for fun. Now, there will be some articles and videos accompanying the theme for the week that get you to learn the topics and the concepts. And um, there will be a discussion and or questions. Some weeks will have both. Some will have no discussion and just questions. And some will have uh, just questions and no discussion. But uh, there will be some weeks that have both. And the weekly photo assignment, obviously, that's a, that's a big deal, which is due to the blog on WordPress. And uh, there should be some Pixlr or Photoshop videos, hopefully Photoshop, if everyone has it. And then I'll do some editing techniques every week, uh, some things that you can learn. And just for fun, photo assignment, a couple out there um, if you want. So there'll be some codes in the haiku. Uh, 2.1.R will mean week two, block one, and it's a reading. 3.5.Q will be week three, block five, question. 4.2.D will be a discussion. D means discussion. V will be video. And A will be your, your assignment, your weekly assignment. Uh, I think that's all the codes. And due dates, the photos and the photo journal will be due at 11.59 p.m. your time, not my time. My time will be... You know, I start the world basically over here in Indonesia. So, um, yeah, it's your time Sunday night. On Wednesdays, your critiques are due. And so that means I can go in and check everybody's done and hopefully get all the grading done by Friday so you can have updates and, and feedback and stuff like that before you, are, before you definitely have to have your photos in. And comments are done throughout the week and through the semester, but uh, I suggest you sort of stay on top of it. Um, just to just get some done and discussions will be do, uh, due based on the week itself so the expectations are that you log in every single day um, there could be a couple days you can get away with not logging in but uh, pretty much log in every day there's something to do um, five to seven hours per week uh, most of that time should be into actually going and photographing um, I want you to take some risk here. I want you to go out and you know ride your subway and, and go to some areas of town that maybe you're not too familiar with or at least some areas away from home and see if you can get some photographs of real people doing real things. And that's going to take a little bit of time, so make sure you make some time for that. Um, communication is huge. If you've got any issues at all, you need to let me know in advance. I'm much more accommodating before uh, than after, and I'm sure that's the case with just about every teacher out there. If you need some help, uh, you can you can Skype me. Uh, I'm RKDUB507 is my Skype name. I should have put that on there, but I didn't. Um, if you need anything uh, in terms of editing, let me know. We can do a little Skype session video, um, and I can post it up for everybody. And just remember that this is a photography class, not a picture class. You're going to be learning a lot, and you're going to be hopefully pushing your limits, uh, pushing your camera's limits. Uh, this is not a place where you can just post your Facebook photos. So thanks very much. Go through the entire um, first week here and welcome page and make sure you read everything and let's have